Hey everybody, welcome back to Genroka Legends. I have a new special guest with me today. Very familiar one. Hi, it's Skippy Granola again. You might remember me from Food Fest. Yes, and I'm gonna need your very positive and delightful demeanor to counteract the sadness of Ganbei's story. A cause to Daikon for. Holy shit, is that the protagonist from Iki? <laughs> From what? Iki! It's a, it's a NES game about the farmer's rebellion in Japan. It sucks, it's a shit game, but that, that sure looks like the protagonist. This could explain a lot about the back history of the game, because I knew nothing about this. I'm actually fucking googling it right now, what? Yeah, the farmer's rebellion in uh, feudal Japan. That might be exactly what the story is, because that's the, um, plot point of the game, and wow, the main character does look exactly like that character. Holy shit! Right? The little round nose? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to, like, copy-paste something in editing when I do this, but wow, that's uncanny. Yeah, man. But yeah, we are in Une province, and everybody's farms are basically dead. I like that they have a, uh... A sort of boisterous rural accent in their Japanese, too. I've never noticed this, but I didn't notice that their accents are different. I thought it was because they were Chinese or something. Nope, they're they're just hicks. Okay. That's, that's why they say things like, where's all these folks kicking up a ruckus? Yeah, I thought that was localization. I didn't realize that there is like a kind of, um, there is kind of like a drawl to a Japanese accent that they do. Huh. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, was in Japan, where poor farming villages planning insurrection to overthrow the feudal overlord. Wow, the main character. <laughs> what? The main character of Ike is named Ganbei, and one of the characters is named Tago, which in this game is Tagosaku. Holy shit. Do you think maybe this is a retelling of the story of Ike? Probably. I never thought it. this is blowing my goddamn mind. <laughs> I honestly thought much like um like a uh, a Koi's plot. There was no real relevance to it, but this is very suspect. I I think Okoy's plot was. Hmm, I swear it's got to be one of the one of the seventies uh, revenge movies. Probably. It makes a lot of sense. But yeah, if you look at these guys, they were at the end of uh, Miki's plot. Because those guys at the end of Miki's plot was a teaser for this DLC. That's right. And we get to be part of the Farmer's Rebellion. Yes. Let's show those fat cat poor, like, what's what? I'm trying to figure out what this dude with the, like, sign is, because there's nothing on it. It's just a flat wheat sheet on a stick, and I don't know what it's for. Um, I think maybe he's still just thinking of a slogan. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna die, Khan, for this. No. Ugh. Oh. Shogun? How about sh show yourself the door? <laughs> maybe that's the straw for his sandals. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I I'm not too familiar with farming implements. Nor am I. But we're gonna learn a little bit about their combat combat implementations later. And he's probably one of my favorite characters. It's Mohiji. He's just a big dork with a log and he's great. <laughs> they told me to grab a stick. <laughs> this is a stick to me. I love this already. This is wonderful. Yes. Unfortunately, Ganbei is even more sadder than everyone else. He's a widower pushed to the brink. Mm -hmm. A man with nothing to lose. This is the saddest thing. He doesn't even have a proper memorial for her. I'd riot too, honestly. Oh, yeah. Gunvey is a very hardy man, though. Yep, that's right. He's pissed as hell. He's gonna have to be hardy, though, because we're gonna be seeing the hardest fucking fight in the game, period. 
So I mentioned Knight of Pandemonium is the hardest fight. I was wrong. It's this. Crows? Yes. You have to fight Crows as Ganbei at level 1 with one healing item and no skills, so no invincibility frames. Oh, his combat animations are so good! It really emphasizes the fact that you're not a samurai, you're not a ninja, you're not even a fucking demon bent on revenge. You are a shitty farmer with your three-point farming technique. Kill these you crows. You take that back. He is an excellent farmer. <laughs> He's a wonderful farmer. It's just that his land is terrible. God, look at his face! All the other samurai are just so... so... Dower, they're just like, oh, I'm a sword master. Yeah. But Ganbei is just tooth gritted, like, get off my crops! So the gimmick with Ganbei is that he, um, he has friends, and that's how he fights. He fights with the power of numbers. If you ever would do a quick draw, you basically scream at people to hurt them, and you summon a friend. Oh, heck yeah, a little peasant army? Yep. Now, um, I am actually really bad at this. Um, I. I think I did somewhere around multiple takes, I lost count of how many, in order to do this without dying. I think it took me about an hour to do this, because you can fail this fight and retry it, and you keep your levels, but I felt that was kind of dishonest in a way. So I just took- I just kept replaying the introduction sequence and kept trying to do this right until I got it. And this fight sucks, oh my god, this is not so having- many crows! Yeah. There are so many crows, they have magical powers? They also have their own legion of crows that fucking ruin you. Crows. There is an easy way to cheese this that I figure out at the end of this specific recording, but I'm mainly relying on the hoe right now because the hoe has a bit of... What do you call it? Super armor? Hyper armor? It's basically uh, you take... Other ones are accurate. You take reduced damage and you don't have hit stun, which is vi vital in order to kill these stupid crows that fucking have uh, auto detection. They one to one move where you move. Just like real crows, actually. Yeah. Have you ever tried to catch a crow with your bare hands? It's impossible. His shield is a bucket! Um, he gets a better shield later on. He gets a uh, ceramic, ceramic pot as a shield. Hey, it's Mohaji. He's hey, what up? He's your final buddy, he's actually stronger, and he hits harder, but he's also kind of hard to get to. Like, you need to quick draw twice and keep your buddy alive to get Mohiji in. Yeah, that makes sense. And I think he's already gone. Well, yeah, but I mean, Pro Storm. Yes. Uh, now here's the Bamboo Spear. This is my favorite weapon because of how simple it is and how reliable it is. You only have one attack, this shitty thrust. But it is a damn good thrust. Just like during the Farmer's Rebellion. Mm-hmm. Your other weapon is Sickles. Now, if you've played uh, Ghost and Ghouls, it's the Sickle from that game. Except it doesn't return. Now, um, unlike... God, what's her name? Okoy, your third form isn't recharged. However, Sickle is a projectile that slowly loses durability as you use it. So, if you keep spamming it, you will break it. However, for... Uh, Ganbei, you kind of want this, because when your weapons break in this game, you get a free quick draw, and in Ganbei's case, it means you summon your friend back. Ah, nice! So if you ever want to just cheese out a boss fight, get a bunch of, uh... What the hell are they called? The, the, I, the sword restoring items, spam your sickle to death, and then use your quick draw to get your buddy out and going. Jeez, I am sad that I never uh, got around to actually playing this one. Oh, this this fight hurt. This this made me angry. Man, I am a hundred percent team Ganbei. Ganbei is pretty good. He's got a good story going for him. But man, this fight is a lot to ask for at the start. And um, so brutal. It kind of plays into what they were trying to go for with the message of Ganbei's story. Endless struggle. That that bonus has never been more apt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love the fact that he rubs his nose after every fight. I think that was a typo? Et? That's... That doesn't seem right. Ah, oh, it's... You know, they've already had everything. 
Hmm. I kind of want to like get into contact with someone from Arxis and ask about their localization for this because half the time I'm kind of like, really? Just just imagine whenever Gombe is talking, he's talking like a farmer. So even Gombe needs something to set him out from the rest of the the uh, cast as a unique dude and not just another farmer. A Muramasa shovel. Yes. No, not really. <gasps> I would die if that was the case. A Muramasa Ford shovel. It can dig anything. <laughs> no, his wife is here. Hi, honey. Why are you chewing on your hair? I mean, it's probably like a sat shadako. Is it pronounced Sadako or Shadako? Like, I'm really bad at horror movies. Uh, I'm not sure. I think there is a folkloric thing. Hmm, possibly. Japan's got weird ghost stories. Oh, Otai is such a dedicated wife that she wouldn't even die. She still has to support her husband. Or kill him. Um, all right. That's a little scary, not gonna lie. <laughs> Look at his face. It's like, what? Are you just, just like, what? What kind of wife kills her husband? I can't tell if this is like casual husband wife banter or are they serious? Because honestly, Otai kind of strikes me as the kind of girl that would playfully say, Oh, you, I'll kill you if you keep that up. <laughs> I'm still waiting on the punchline. I'm just still reeling that this is an actual thing, but that just shows how uh, bad I am at researching. See, it's nice when couples do things together. Yeah. It really strengthens the relationship, you know? Yeah, man. You know, you take your wife on a picnic, maybe take a class together. <laughs> a class? Overthrow a, a feudal regime, you know. <laughs> a class in anarchy. I like the use of Sometimes music here. Gotta throw a brick. I like the use of music here just because it really does give you that build up of I'm going on an adventure here. If you're familiar with the game, you would recognize that this is actually a song used in the like big mountain areas of each story. Yeah, everybody's got something on the line here. Umekichi's got his family to worry about. And I like this little line here because it justifies why they would have the save point shrines. Yep. Very clever. Very clever. Oh my god. The more. Now that I know this, I can't unsee it. See, it's so good. Thank you, Mohiji. You are a pal. Oh, Tagasaku, you're just imagining things. There's no possible way the government would try to suppress us shitty farmers. Yeah, that's right. This is a democracy, right? <laughs> Yeah, this is not feudalism. We are not being held underfoot by a feudal warlord. Except we totally are. Yeah! 
Like, this is so on point for asshole Shogun is hilarious. Well, not Shogun, but, uh, you know, I can't remember what I'm looking for here. Daimyo? Daimyo. Thank you. I love how that ninjas never have any lines in this in this uh, game. They're just like, I just, I just, I just, I just, I just. Like, what a great way to make a villain just say, I don't care about farmers, I have my honor. My honor. Yeah, that's right. Well, let's, let's see how hard you can squeeze blood from that stone. You don't know what it's like to work on 88 farms to get rice. Especially during the Dust Bowl. Yeah. Speaking of which, California is effectively having something like that with the drought. Hey, maybe they should have an uprising. Yeah. We could get our farmers together and get our Muramasa hose and overthrow the government. It'll be wonderful. <laughs> That's right. So I don't have certain skills with uh, Gunbei yet because in order for him to do anything, you have to unlock his ability to do double j to do uh, floats, charge attacks, special moves. He needs to train into being special. Well, you don't need double jumps to work the land, but you do if you need to overthrow the daimyo. This is true. Now, when I play um, Gonbei, I like to use spear primarily and host secondary. I've recently learned how good the scythe could be, but in my other file, I was too deep into other training that I couldn't emphasize the scythe a bit more. Yeah, I mean, you gotta gotta make your choices. Now, in terms of combat, as this game mentions, we now have everything available to us because we've finally trained. Since our wife is here to help us, we now have special abilities. And we're gonna demonstrate them on this pheasant. Oh, awesome! Yeah, what, one of the things we could do is that, uh, instead of an air dash like most people would have, your wife just throws you. Also, the special attack for a sickle is you just throw more sickles. Yeah, which, you know, that's fine. If you had, oh yeah, if your if you're, uh, sickle breaks, you actually just throw rocks and they do no damage. Now, I don't show it off because I can never seem to get right footage, but, well, that's Whoa. his, uh, that's his, that's his guard break ability. He uses his wife's ghost to, to break guards. It's actually not that great. I prefer to use the hoe for that. Yeah. But one of the, uh, special abilities for the spear is that on the ground he just does a bunch of, oh. The special ability on the ground for this is just a bunch of stabs. But if you do oh, it so good. If you do it from the sky, you just do a sliding ground stab, and it's a great way for getting mobility. Awesome. And one thing I like to do with Ganbei is just juggle people by stabbing them in the air. It's so good. So That's why spears rule. Yep. Next time on uh, Akaz to Daikon 4, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna petition the government, because all this farms suck. Citizen's Guide to Democracy in Action. Yeah, too bad it's feudalism. Oh.